going on, guys? Chiefs here, and today it is my 27th birthday, and we are going to be chasing Mega Pike. I wonder what that can be. And so it begins. First cast. My 27th year. Trying to crack that 40 mark today, guys. There's one. Oh, oh, that's a big one. That's a bigger one. Oh. Okay. That's a nicer fish. Oh my goodness gracious. This thing's kicking hard. Jeez. <laughs> nice. The size is heading towards the right direction. First fish of the day, probably 30 inches, 30, 31 inches. Nice fish. They're getting bigger. That's what we like to see. We had a fish fry last night and I just feel like a grease ball. It's giant, it's giant, it's giant, it's giant. He hit that thing on the pause. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh my goodness gracious. It's huge. Oh, oh my God. I saw that thing come up in smoke. The freaking tube, this is ridiculous, guys. Just hit a gator tube from uh, Water Wolf Lures. If I were to guess, this fish is probably in the ballpark of 42 to 45 inches. The ruler on this boat only goes to 42 inches, and I think it is gonna be all of 42 inches, if not more. This is just stupid, guys. I am shaking. Doing this by yourself is another thing. But I am mind blown. Right? I am mind blown. Oh, I might be able to pop this right out. Just hooked by one treble right in the corner. It's really not bad. This fish is huge, guys. Dude, that is huge. 
I cannot believe how big this fish is. Okay, I'm gonna get back in the net. I'm gonna prepare this fish for measurement, and we're gonna let him go. Oh my gosh. Just gonna let this fish soak real quick. This is unbelievable. I, I, I actually cannot believe this right now. This is... That fish is... Tail down. 41 and a half? 42? I don't know. I'm literally holding its freaking belly. shot turns out okay it is gone I'm actually mind blown right now smoked this big old gator tube from water wolf lures look at what it did to that bottom treble man that that thing was so fat that treble is just completely cocked sideways that's insane looks like he got me pretty good on my thumb too or she did but hey, that is a uh, phenomenal birthday present. That is amazing. That is actually amazing. I'm so thankful for this moment. Wow. I was hoping to get a little bit better of a release. Um, I had the fish tailed in the water sitting there and uh, it just shot out of my hands. I was hoping to get a shot of it in the water, but at this point, I'm just happy that the fish swam off in good condition. It shot off with force and it went straight to the bottom quick. So that fish is in good shape. Successful land by myself. I am buzzing right now. I am completely buzzing right now. This is amazing. <laughs> Some people might call this setup overkill, but we have a Rio Toro high speed reel here spooled up with a hundred pound braid it's power pro and i am running a 180 pound fluorocarbon leader i think it's 16 inches from water wolf lures and we just caught that on a gator tube it's a rip bait you rip it you let it pause that fish just came all the way out from underneath it and just engulfed it it was a perfect hook set too we had it hooked right in the top treble up here right in the corner of the mouth and uh, only had two of the hooks buried. That fish was released pretty much as good as you could get it out. You know, some people might think this kind of setup's really overkill for fishing pike. You don't need this heaviest stuff, but just for just for the fish, and I, I just think you have a better chance at landing fish like this. I want to make the fight as quick as possible. When I'm fighting these fish, I am putting every ounce of strength I have into my rod and my gear. And I just want to be sure that, you know, it's not breaking. We got super thick braid, the overkill leader, and super strong treble hooks here. But you got to trust your gear. I'd rather run it on the heavier side. I mean, as you guys saw, I landed that fish in probably 30 seconds to a minute. I just put the wood to that fish, and I, I got it in the net as quickly as possible. That's the setup. I think it really increases your odds. I've been fishing pike for a while. It just seems like with this heavier gear, it's improving landing ratios and it's and it's better for the fish. So it's a win-win. Anyways, that was a great birthday present. Um, 